Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I am accepting a challenge. I, I'm gonna be making something that I had never done before. And it is, I had to make a um, doily using music pages. Uh, this is my first and only attempt. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. Of course, it's not gonna be exactly the same as a doily, you know, those are made with machines, but we're gonna try and do some of them. Um, maybe two or three more, I don't know. Sometimes I get carried away if I, I'm having a lot of fun. And before I go to that, please don't mind my nails. Um, yesterday I was making a tutorial using my alcohol ink and it was messy. We were making a um, book pages art with stencil. So I tried to do my best removing everything, but I still have some. So please don't mind my hands, my nails, um, just focus on what we're gonna be making today. So I have my, this book, um, music pages, I'm gonna grab let me get two. I know this is big. I have a smaller one, but I couldn't find them. So I'm just going to use this one and whatever I had left from the pages, I will um, keep it for scraps. So I'm using, you can make this any size you want, but I'm using my cat food dish. So I'm going to um, trace a circle. And then I'm gonna cut my pieces. I, I get two from each page. So I have these two here. And I'm just gonna fold this in half. And I'm gonna cut my circle. Oh, wait, I put it too low on me. I want to get um, two from each page. So let me trace my, let me, let me um, fold it in half first. That way I can see where my circle should be. Let me remove the book from here. Okay, that's perfect. So let me trace this again. And this don't have to be perfect, just be creative. Um, so let me cut my circles here. I should get four from this. And just uh, make them any size you want. I did this size because I like them smaller. Um, and it's gonna be less work. The smaller the circle, you know, less things you have to um, cut. But you can make it any size you want. Maybe for you, larger one will be easier because you have to fold your circle I fold mine like in fours, I think it was. So I have one, two, three, four. We're gonna make five. So let me show you closer. This is my music page doily. Um, I was requested to do this tutorial. As you may know, I am a moderator at Crafty Christian's Corner. And we're gonna have a swap or challenge, I think it's a challenge where you, you are gonna be challenged to make your own doilies. So I'm making this tutorial um, for the group and you will find the link for the group on my description box. In case that you wanna uh, take a look at the group, there's a lot of fun things going on there. We do swap, we do challenges, giveaways, there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, we're making games and all that stuff. Um, that is it's a very fun group. So I'm just gonna leave the this, um, the link for the group from the description box. The name of the group again is Crafty Christian's Corner. So let's get started here. I just gonna fold, um, I should not mark that too much, but so half. Then in half again and in half again. So you're gonna um, you're gonna fold one, two, three times your circle. 
and you're gonna get this comb so i um you can draw designs on your paper and you know cut that but i just gonna eyeball it here and just create different designs um i'm gonna start here on the top i'm gonna try to do like i don't know just a simple design here nothing fancy and it don't have to be perfect. And then I cut this here. You don't have to, but it will give me this circle in the middle or kind of a circle. And, and then I just gonna start um, cutting different pieces, you know, different ways. Just use your creativity. Sometimes it's hard to think what you want, but just try to do your best. This is a challenge. So I'm just gonna cut different, um, how you call these shapes into my paper. Need to cut more here. And then let me see. So it's a little hard for my hands since, you know, I fold the paper a lot. Maybe if I, I don't want to use larger scissors because this is a small circle. Oops. I have paper flying everywhere. So I did that side and now I'm going to do the other side. Be careful not to cut. <laughs> You know, the top. And there. And maybe, let me see if I can do like a half circle here. Hopefully I will not break. My doily. And maybe, maybe something small here. Let's try this. And I'm gonna try to fold this. I don't wanna break. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's open it. I don't wanna, let's see how this one looks. Oh, I like this one, look. That's that one. This is the first one that I did. You see? And I did the design on the border here, on the edges. I like this one better since I know how, um, you know, I know now how to make them better. This was my, like, how do you call this? Your prototype, the one that you tried the first time. Okay, so we have two, let's move on. This is an easy pro uh, um it just take a little long if you don't know what to cut, what shape to cut, but that's why I told you you can like think about a design that you want on your doily and then trace it with your pencil and then cut it. But I don't wanna go you know through that trouble. I'm just gonna create any shape I think at the moment and then, you know, cut. So I always like to start on my border. So I'm gonna try like zigzag. Maybe I should have cut closer to the edge, but that's fine. Remember, this don't have to be perfect. Just be creative. And maybe think outside the box. Okay, so that's my zigzag on the edge. So let's see, let me see, let me see, let me think. So 
something is hard. Let me see if I can do a heart here. <laughs> My paper is... Um, I don't know if that's going to look like a heart, but I tried. And then let me do the other side. I will pick up the papers later. They're, they're fl <laughs> flying everywhere. And let me see if I can do something more closer to the middle here. Okay, let's check this one. The more cuts you do, the more design you will have on your doily. Look, I got the heart here. You see it? I made hearts on my doily. Four hearts. Look how pretty. I don't know. I think now this is my favorite with the hearts and the zigzag border. Okay, let's move on. We have three more to make. Okay, one more time. Now I'm not gonna cut the center, right? And see how it looks. This, the point here. And then for my design here, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow here. I don't know what to, <laughs> to be honest. I, I don't even know what else to do. Okay, and then just gonna go one small, one larger. One small here. And then let's do this side. I'm gonna do a larger one here. I think I'm gonna alternate and smaller. And a kind of larger because I don't have that much more. Oh, maybe smaller. I don't have that much um, space. I think I like it better with the center um, cut. So I'm gonna go back and cut my little point here. We're just experimenting, but I like it with the space open in the middle. So, okay, two more, two more. Right, I hope that you're enjoying this. Um, go and get your music paper and create some um, doily with me. Just easy project, quick, right? We only been 14 minutes recording and we already did, how many? Three, and we're gonna do two more. So maybe half an hour you will do like six. Cut this here like in a B and see how that gonna look. And then maybe I don't 
don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna do it like that, like fringe. I have some fringe scissors, but um, this is too small. I don't wanna cut all my paper. I'm just gonna do it manually here. There. Got it a little bit more. I'm gonna try to do like, I don't know, like a B design going up. Hopefully I don't cut too much. Uh, okay, well, you know, we're trying different things here. Trying to be creative. One more because I don't want to go all the way here because I did the fringe. That's how you call that fringe. Okay, so this is my design on this one. Maybe I should cut one more here, smaller, like that. There. So let's see this one. Let me be careful opening. Oh, look at this one. It look like um, this here. It look like um, snowflake, right? Look, look like a snowflake. Okay, one more, and we are done with this tutorial. I'm having so much fun. This is really fun. Okay, let me erase the pencil line here. That was my first circle. Okay. gonna cut it like that and then here I don't know I'm getting out of idea let me see I just gonna do it like wavy I think I already did that but wavy kind of zigzag I don't know how this is gonna turn out I just move my scissor or whatever design it creates that's what is gonna go there Let me cut. Like a bee or a mountain or right there. I'm gonna do the same thing again. But let me try to go closer to the middle.
Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm concentrating here. <laughs> this is too much fun. I don't know, lately I've been having a lot of fun with my triads. I see this one. Just be careful when you open them. Look. Oh, I like it. Let me throw all this out so I can show you. All of the ones that we created. Put it side by side so you can see them. That one. This one. Let me put three and three. So there you go. You, we made five on, um, you know, on camera. And this one, I don't know, the fringe thing, you can hardly see it. But it's something that, you know, I, I wanted to try. Maybe if I separate them a little bit. Let me, where is that one? Where is the one that I hear? Let me cut it there. Cause it's, it, that was on the middle. So it's like wider than the other ones there. So let me see if I do like this. Let me see if I don't break it. There's another one here. Where is it? Okay, now I lost it. Well, oh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Let me cut it. And let me go to this side. There, I don't know if you can see the fringe on my edges a little bit. So look how cute. Easy and we only take like 22 minutes you know, and 22 minutes with the five. So maybe in half an hour is your, I like me kind of low. Um, then you will make six in half an hour. But if you're quick, you can make maybe double it. So this is it for this challenge. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please give me, leave me a comment below. I love to read your comments. Um, that way I know that you are enjoying my tutorials. Um, and have fun. Just create and be, you know, be creative. And happy crafting, everyone. See you in the next tutorial.